Hi friends, happy holidays. It's Ashton Kaylee here and I know I've been in my for a little while so I just wanted to give you guys a studio update and let you know what I've been working on, show you a few things and just check in with you. I hope you all are doing well so let's uh, get into it. So while I've been away, I have actually been keeping busy. Here are a few of the paintings I have recently been working on. I just wrapped up these two large paintings of Lovecraft inspired monsters. This first one here is um, two feet by three feet and the square one here is two feet by two feet both done with oil paints I've been trying to do more and more oil paint lately, so I really try to um, get back into the habit I am Basically relearning my process, so it's taking me a little bit of time to get used to it and here to the right is another piece in oil that I am just about completed with um, a plague doctor as per requested and I really actually like the way his mask turned out. This is an, my most recent pet commission and all he's needing or they're needing is some varnish so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. The pups I actually did in acrylic paint. For most of my commission work that I do for pet portraits, I do tend to use acrylic because I try to keep those lower priced and finish them faster. While I do take oil commissions, and you may have seen those already, the Queen mod and the astronaut uh, Cosmo, um, Cosmonaut, those were both done in oil paints, so I, mean, I offer both, but they do have to be at a higher price be because of the time and the materials that they take. So between these four paintings and a few more uh, that I have absolutely no video of, I have been keeping myself busy. I did have recently have some commission work to do some portraits in watercolor. I do find those a bit more challenging um, and I did not record that process partly because of the added pressure <laughs> that I feel like when I'm recording so um, I don't know I just haven't really felt like being on camera too much lately so I do apologize for being scarce these days. Um, I do plan on picking it back up. I just needed a little bit of a break. It can be kind of difficult and taxing to be making videos weekly and uh, unfortunately I've never really made a buffer. I do it every week instead of having videos ready to go so I can take time off. I uh, hope to get better at scheduling my video creation hopefully soon. Painting of course is my first love and my actual um, means of earning a living. But I also really enjoy doing various crafts. I try not to spend too much time doing them because I feel like it takes me away from um, work I should be doing. And um, I try to balance that out, but sometimes I just, I really need to decompress or try different things. And I'm just addicted to making, so trying other crafts is really, really good for me. It helps me refill my creative cup, if you will. And lately I have been um, a little bit obsessed with felting. I had originally bought some felting materials like a year ago, maybe longer, to have a craft to do with my husband's grandmother. She is a crafty woman herself and um, she's sometimes looking for new activities to do. So I bought this little inexpensive kit from um, either eBay or or um, Amazon. I'm not really sure at this point. I'll put some links down in the description as usual. And um, she didn't really get into it, so I didn't use it. <laughs> I've actually had the most of the supplies um, untouched, unused in the garage for the last year, and I decided I wanted to um, try my hand at it. So lately I've been doing some of that and I actually really enjoy it. It is a type of sculpt sculpturing that I really dig. Um, sculpture work is, is kind of difficult for me. I am much better in the 2D realms, but um, when it comes to sculpture, I like to be able to build rather than subtract like you would with uh, like marble or something. Anyways, um, 
I find felting to be much like that. It's like building and painting a sculpture. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it can be a little bit tedious and slow, or maybe I'm just slow at it, but it's cute and I, I really like it. Um, I'll show you guys a few of those samples here. And um, I would like to actually make some videos on getting started in felting because I think it's a really accessible craft that is probably really good for these pandemic times. You can have something to do at home. And it's really, really easy to get into. The learning curve is like so low, um, but uh, it does take practice, of course, to get better shapes. I'm just saying that it doesn't require a lot of info or materials to actually get started. The little kit I got was really inexpensive. I think mine, the one I picked, was definitely under $20 ship, so that's nice. Crafting can be really expensive. Those supplies add up fast, and um, sometimes the learning curve can be quite steep, so... Um, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy it and I can share with you some of my journey and just how to get started with it. So um, maybe next week I will have that video up. I, I really hope to. Um, this is me making myself accountable for it by saying I'm going to have it. So uh, look out for that video next week. I have also been playing more with my Cricut Maker, which is an awesome machine. If you don't know what it is, it is a cutting machine that you can cut various types of materials with from paper crafts to leather to cloth. It's really cool. Um, I would love to do more with it. Uh, I feel like I've only scratched the surface with that machine and I've had it a little while now too. Um, so yeah, it's all about balancing guys. I am not great at it and I am seriously trying to keep my priorities and life balanced. I've had a bit of commission work lately, so I'm most high priority is getting that stuff done because I need to in order to pay bills and eat just like anybody else. It's, it's a full-time job there. So, uh, I do try to be careful with that but also some downtime and um creating just for the sake of creating is is definitely needed and um appreciated so that's what i've been up to i hope you all have been doing well um i had so many art plans for this year and i feel like i didn't even get a quarter of them done I'm looking forward to 2021 starting, although that I mean doesn't get, guarantee anything's going to be much different or better. I like the start of the new year because it feels like just a fresh start and a uh, nice change of energy. Uh, yeah, and after a year like 2020, I think we could all use that. So um, hopefully uh, things will be better <laughs> and I will continue to do my best and improve on all aspects of my life and that's pretty much it for my update this week. I don't have a whole lot going on other than arts, crafts, um, that's about it. Oh, I've been baking a lot too, which is another form of uh, making. So <laughs> there's me in a nutshell, I just like to make things. The baking can be kind of dangerous because then I am forced to eat all of it. Well, I'm going to have to wrap it up here, but if you want to try out any of the materials that I've been working on on any of these paintings I've shown, or check out that felting kit so that you can join me next week with a little intro and how-to, um, you can check all that out in the descriptions down below. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram and um, deviant art so if you're on any of those places i'd love to connect with you there follow me there or um, shoot me a message i hope you all are having a great week and i'll see you guys next time bye